Well, my name's Jeff Klepsig. I've been employed by council, uh, it'll be 32 years this October. A lot of the time, if, if, I, if I'm introduced to someone, I'll say, oh yeah, you're the guy that does the roundabouts. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Personally, I maintain 11. I look after uh, 11 of the ones in the CBD here, which are the high profile ones. Ones which need a lot more care and attention and maybe ones a lot further out that we don't get to that often. Uh, probably this one at the moment. This one gets a lot of positive feedback at the moment. Um, it's nice and colourful and it was a bit of a problem child for a while. We had a lot of things in it that weren't going that well and when you first get an idea about what to do with it, you're not sure if it'll work, but when all the plants fill out and it turns out how you planned it to look and people say that looks really great, it's really good. So yeah, this one's yeah really happy with it. There's, a, there's one near St Augustine's with just cactus and succulents and desert plants in it and that gets a lot of good feedback as well. So that's really happy with that one. It is, it is, yeah. Um, I think the, council, the council's always recognised that it's a positive thing for us. It looks really good, people love, there's a lot of interest for things like this. People have, I've read that many times in the paper and people have read, people have written this letters to say that they love to come on holidays to Coffs Harbour and see the roundabouts. It's actually a thing. Pretty much, yeah, it's in my uh, area of responsibility basically um, so when you when you're the guy looking after it you sort of tend to take a lot of ownership of it so you try and do as good as you can so you pick plants that you know will be good based on your own experience I guess so yeah I'm lucky enough that I'm able to pick what I know will look good and I'm, it's yeah it's good to be able to do that Yeah, well, this, this one, oh, a few years ago, this one had a very large hedge around the outside. This tree here, I've got a photo with this tree. It's a cedar, which was planted, oh, maybe 25 years ago. Oh, and it was very, very small. Um, and it's got, very, it's got very shallow roots on it. So you can't really plant anything. You can't dig it up or anything. You have to plant things that are, um, it's kind of, it's a very shady roundabout, but it gets very, very hot in summer. So there's only certain things that you can grow in it. There's perennials, these plants around the outside, the bright ones and the red ones and the mauve ones are a kind of an impedians, which they used to be very temperamental. You could only grow them in deep shade with a lot of moisture, but these ones take a lot more sun and they're a new variety. And they're nice and bright. They flower all year round. Um, as long as you give them enough moisture, they just look great. They're really satisfying. It's a popular roundabout because people drive past every day, they see it and it looks bright. Anything that looks bright and colourful and the pots just look a little bit kind of industrial. Um, anything that makes a particular roundabout just a little bit unique. I'm actually in a Facebook group called the Real Roundabout Appreciation Society, which is based in England. I sent photos of this one and the one with the, with the cactus in to that and you say, oh, what about, you like this roundabout? And I go, oh, wow, that's really great. And it's, <laughs> it's fun to be able to do that, you know. Just makes you feel good, so, so good to know that I can, you can plant a garden, 10 weeks later you come back and it's exactly how you envisaged and people say, Jeffrey, love your work. And when you've been doing them for as long as I have, I'll likely retire at the end of this year and when I leave, it'll leave a big, hole inside me because this is these are like my gardens and um, you know I'll I'll miss working here